We have New York Times best-selling author of the Book of Awesome and the Happiness Equation, Neil Pazricha. Neil Pazricha. Neil Pazricha. Neil Pazricha. It's not what happens to you, it's what you do about it. Just do it! Neil Pazricha is the best-selling author of the Book of Awesome. When you show up at work happier, guess what? You're 31% more productive, you have 37% higher sales, you are 300% more creative than your peers. Most inspiring TED Talks of all time. The Harvard MBA, the New York Times best-selling author. And spent a decade at Walmart as director of leadership. Are we ready to talk about three ways to develop optimism, empathy, compassion, and understanding? Does that sound familiar? Also known as leadership skills. I've seen many world-class speakers over the years, and in my opinion, Neil is one of the best. Neil's ability to connect, engage, and inspire people at all levels of an organization is an incredibly valuable gift to give. Neil has spoken to hundreds and thousands of people all over the world, and his work has been seen everywhere from CNN to BBC, the list goes on and on. Happiness expert Neil Pazricha. I love that my employees are still talking about Neil Pazricha many years past his talk. Is everyone having a good time today? Are you having a good time today? Are you having a good time today? Is this a good use of your time? What is a good use of your time? Could a conversation that was just questions be a good use of your time? What if the only time everyone is thinking is when no one is talking? What if instead of a TED talk, we did the first ever TED listen? <laughs> Do we give ourselves enough time to just stop, ask questions, and think? What do your best days look like? Is time you enjoyed wasting really wasted time? Do you remember when summer felt like forever? How do we live so that it always feels like forever? Why do more of us live alone now compared to any other time in our species history? Why have suicide rates globally recently passed murder rates? Could it be that the most dangerous person to you in the whole world is now you?
Why do we fight more with people we love most? If you live with a partner, does your partner meet all your social, intellectual, and physical needs? What do you need? How do we stop living in the past and in the future? How do we make right now, right now, feel longer? Does right now actually exist? Or is it just where the past and the future touch each other? Like, why does the year 2000 feel closer than the year 2032? Do we get to choose what we remember? How do you want to be remembered? How will you be remembered? Would you choose to live forever if you could? Or is death like that tin foil backing that a mirror needs if we are able to see anything? children know or remember you. Is there something you feel like you just have to do? Should you drop everything you're doing? except the biggest possible thing you can do. Who invented your shoes? Who invented your glasses, your books, your foods, your religion? Who discovered your city, your country, your company? Do we know their name? Do we know how much they've given us? yours might survive as a tiny flickering light deep in the pitch black darkness of the millions and million year future we can't possibly imagine. What if we're all just baton passers desperately frantically, urgently, trying to take the best of everything we've been given 
to give the future the best of what we got. Who are you in this with? How will you measure your life? What is your baton? How will you maximize your tiny, short life? How will you maximize your tiny, short life? Any questions?